Hello, I'm Simon Cat. I'm with Sam again. Today we will be playing my Mario Maker 2 levels. Again. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start. Oh wait, no, n <laughs> not new game. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> So this is 4-1, Slip Sliding Away Again. The title is a reference to Super Mario 64. There's a mission called Slip Sliding Away. So this level... I don't really have much to say about this video other... I, I mean, why did I say video? I don't have much to say about this level other than that it changes styles of... It changes ideas halfway through. <laughs> I'll remember this part. This part oh. was really annoying in oh. multiplayer. That took so long in multiplayer. Yeah, we had to get all of us over for the camera to work. And <laughs> that's kind of hard. Yeah. Especially when some people don't want to be picked up. Yeah, not mentioning any names, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows there's a Buzzy Beetle helmet up there. Which protects you against these icicles. I swear I did not put that in there because I could not beat my own level. Question is, was he being sarcastic when he said Hmm. I guess we'll never know. There's no much to believe what I say anyway. <laughs> so I guess it's up to interpretation. And here is, of course, the snake block segment. So, have you beaten it without the helmet before? Yes. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Because there are sometimes that I've lost it immediately. Does it have like a certain a certain threshold of how many icicles it can take? Uh, it does. I, I would. Oh no, it, no, it doesn't have that. I thought you said icicles you can place in the level. Oh. It does have that, but uh, this thing is invincible. Gotcha. Pretty much. Alright, can I get this 50 coin? Nice. I don't know why I made it so you have to get a running jump up there. <laughs> That's kind of difficult. You, you, you know, you just like to make people's lives difficult. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I designed a few of these levels. Not all of them. I try to make most of them accessible. I just realized we're already at 99 lives, and that number will probably not change much. <laughs> yeah. I like how that automatically gets you the one up every single time. Yeah. Alright, now we're walking on the rainbows! Yay! Bullet Bill Blaster Barrage. A lot of bees. It just felt like alliteration, I guess, that day. I mean, that's how I try to name all my levels. Sort of like how the Donkey Kong Country levels are named. Mm. I didn't know that. Alliteration is much easier than rhyme. Yeah. So would would the the helmet from last level would that be able to like you jump up into one of those? Would it be able to take it out? I uh, I don't know if it would take it out. Actually, yeah, I probably would. It might it might bounce it up higher. Something like that. Huh. 
What are the? I like how the airship looks red at night <laughs> in SMB1. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Oh, what's that in the, the, the cloud to fire at you? Those are Lakitu clouds with Bowser Jr. and some Bonzib or no, Hoeing Bullpill Blasters in them. Oh. <laughs> and I'm most likely going to take damage here. Yep. <laughs> Is still pretty much aced. There we go. There's this level done. And the next one is a level I probably shouldn't have made. <laughs> or at least it should have had different enemies. <laughs> yeah. Frozen Blooper Frenzy. The description of this level, back when I used to add descriptions to them, is actually, um, I made a level about flying bloopers. Now I never need to again. <laughs> you just, you just gotta make our lives difficult. Oh, I wonder if anyone has actually tried to make sense of why bloopers fly now. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, technically, we, we are in space right now, so I guess it's low gravity or something. Like, how did how would they survive? And how is Toad surviving without any oxygen? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> We should put Frosted Donut Land- Oh, no. We should put Siberia, the land of Frosted Donuts, on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. The Simon Cat merch. <laughs> Gotta get that merch. Yeah. It, uh... Except you, your merch should, like, just be socks. It'll only come out with a line of socks. <laughs> only socks? Yeah. Okay then, yeah. Let's uh, let's make that merge so people can actually have something to be excited for <laughs> when they get socks on Christmas. See, see, I I could see a Simi Cat sock brand. Like, yeah, I I don't think there's any other YouTuber that's gone into the sock market. <laughs> there's an untapped potential. Exactly. You, know, you gotta exploit marketing as well as you can. So. Yep. Remember, um, in this part of the level when, um, someone w could not get up this platform and we were just looking directly upwards <laughs> and then, and then when, when they died and we, and the camera scrolled up, there were a bunch of bloopers up there that landed directly on us. Yeah. I still have a video of that. Nice. This- I do like this part of the level, though. With all the floating platforms and stuff. Yeah, a lot of detail, a lot of different ways you can go. That blooper has a key, and... You, if you stand on this icicle, you can go inside this key door. Ooh. He's given us his secrets. Yeah. I'm, I'm basically teaching you how to find pretty much every secret in this entire game. Study up, the test is on Friday. <laughs> what? Hey, did you say that again? <laughs> Study up, the test is on Friday. No, not another pop quiz. <laughs> I'm done with school for the year, I don't need this. Ugh.
Like, I got two months of- I just realized I'm not, I'm not gonna waste it with other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that's a quote from my video, one of my videos. <laughs> I'm quoting myself and not even realizing it. You're, you're just that, that popular. You, you quote yourself. Exactly. All right, once I got perfect on this, and once I failed this, and once I got uh, a pretty okay oh, rating on this, got that well, one. oh no, looks no. like I'm gonna get a pretty okay rating on this one. Or no. I fail. <laughs> It's okay, there's four worlds left. <laughs> uh, Mario ain't too happy with you when he's coming out of his shack. Yeah, that's that's the weird lanky Mario from Mario Maker 1. <laughs> Mario grew like three. Mario Maker, the Mario Maker series has these weird, unexplainable things like the lanky Mario that are just thrown in just because. <laughs> I like it when Nintendo has fun with stuff like that. Yes. The proportions just don't make sense for him, though. Yeah. And this is Snowy Seesaw Situation. I'm sure Oh, a lot of people remember this level very well. Because this is the level with the hidden Luigi room. Oh. I don't know why I tried to get that without the propeller <laughs> suit. <laughs> Alright. So, for the- whoops. For those who- That Koopa just jumped off the edge. <laughs> That's not sending a good message. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta go get another Koopa. <laughs> so for those of you, no! Wow! Oh. I was out of all things that could have happened there. I was not not expecting that. <laughs> Too fast for your own good. For those of you who don't know, this is how you get it. First try. Nice. Do the Koopas like respawn the ones behind you so you can? Kind of get infinite. Trouble. Yes, they do. Okay. So, yep, this is the hidden Luigi room. Nice. I'm doing a, I'm doing a surprised face for the thumbnail. <laughs> that's that's how YouTubers work, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No way! Hidden Luigi room in all caps? You gotta put like Hidden Luigi room in all caps? <laughs> you gotta put like five question marks and a bunch of exclamation points after. Yeah, can't forget that. Then there's this part of the level, which feels di very different from the other part, because it doesn't have a ceiling. It's crazy how much a ceiling can change the feel of a Mario Maker level. Yeah. wonder if it's possible to get... Actually, yeah, it is possible to get 10 coins from both of those. All right, this is a pretty cool one-up. Grab pound that seesaw to get the piranha plant out of the way. <laughs> wow, yeah, that is cool. Oh no. Well. No! At least I can show what happens when you spin on Piranhas, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows you can do that at this point. Is that Except in the new Super Mario Bros. games. Don't try yeah, it Yeah, I was those. gonna say, it doesn't work in new Super Mario Bros. 
Don't try it at home. You have to try it not at home. And <coughs> if you get, get one of the new Super Mario Bros. games that's on the DS or 3DS and, and try it not at home, then it's fine. Actually, then again, you can't even spin jump in those, so what's the point? <laughs> Now we got the third and last airship level. This is kind of similar to the first one. Huh. The first airship? Yeah, the first airship. Except instead of other enemies, I forget exactly what it is, we have Mecha Koopas that shoot homing bullets at you. They look so freaky. Yeah, with their red eyes. <laughs> They're gonna haunt my dreams from now on. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh-oh. Between a rock and a hard place right now. Yeah, that didn't work. I think I need to make them on a go on a different cycle. But the scariest thing in any Mario game is definitely the River Twig's bed from Super Paper Mario. That freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I don't know if you've heard of the those creepy figures on the... Oh yeah, I've definitely told you about this before. The creepy figures in the background of Shiver Shiverburn Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, no, I have seen them. It, it's... Ugh. <laughs> I don't think we still know any sort of reason that that was put there. <laughs> Did they just want to scare kids or something? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Sometimes people leave jokes and left over in the game. Similar to how in Super Mario 3D Land, at the end of one of the Ghost House levels, there's a... there's a ghost that doesn't look like any other normal Mario ghost that just appears if you wait long enough at the end of the level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that, uh... Oh, what is it? Yeah, Galaxy 2 just has a bunch of intricate stuff. And there's, uh... I mean, like, those stuff in Shiverburn is kind of creepy, but... Oh, who is it? It's like Prince... The... the, the... The prince something that's in the, um, he just, like, he rolls around in that little segway thing on the ice, ice map. Sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble remembering it, but. The, the snowball guy? No, you like. Threw the snowball looking guy with the red nose? Well, no, like, like how you defeat him is by hitting those like coconut-looking things back at him. Oh, the Octo Rocks. Yeah. Or is that what they're called? No, I'm thinking of a different enemy. Actually, that might be what they're called, but um, yeah, those, those are also kind of freaky. <laughs> 